Prehistoric woolly mammoths about to be resurrected, claim Harvard scientists. Oh my goodness. Woolly mammoths? Harvard? No way is this fake news, right? Oh, God damn it. Geneticist George Church has been telling mainstream news outlets that he's going to reintroduce the woolly mammoth to planet Earth within two years. This sounds so familiar, but I can't quite put my finger on why. Could it be because I've heard pretty much this exact same thing before? If you'll recall, way back in 2011, a researcher at Kyoto University announced that he was going to reintroduce the woolly mammoth within four to five years. Let's see, 2011, four to five years, quick back of the envelope calculations. Uh, Oh my goodness, that was last year. So I'm sure that there are already woolly mammoths roaming the earth. Church just doesn't realize, and boy, is his face going to be red when he finds out. Uh, The Kyoto researcher is Dr. Akira Iritani, and some quick Googling led me to the horrific discovery that actually he has failed to follow through on his promise to clone a woolly mammoth within five years. He was going to use a procedure that had previously been used to clone a mouse from a tissue sample that had been frozen for 16 years. And he was weirdly optimistic that this technique was going to easily work for a woolly mammoth tissue specimen that had been frozen for 4,000 years. And it's a species that doesn't have a single living female member to carry a fetus to term, so you would have to use an elephant. But still, weirdly optimistic that it was going to happen within five years. It didn't, obviously, and so now Church is trying the same thing, but with a different technique. Instead of taking woolly mammoth genetic material and sticking it into an elephant, Church is taking elephant genetic material and tweaking it in order to be more woolly mammothy. And he claims that he can do this within two years. I have to say that, you know, this is something that I really would love to happen. I, you know, as I said many years ago when Iritani was in the news, I desperately am looking forward to a future full of baby mammoths wearing jetpacks. It's going to be great. Over on Medium, though, John Hawks does a great job of explaining why that future probably isn't going to happen anytime soon. Uh, He points out, for instance, that Church has edited 45 elephant genes to be more woolly mammothy, which is great until you realize that he still has another 4,000 to go. Yikes. Uh, He also answers my main question, uh, which is about the two-year plan. I mean, if you want an elephant to give birth to a woolly mammoth within two years, you'd better be getting that elephant pregnant, like, now. Because an elephant's gestational period is about 22 months. Also, you need to get a whole lot of elephants pregnant, like an elephant orgy, because the failure rate is so high. You're going to end up with a lot of malformed mutant babies before you get your pristine woolly mammoth. Well, Hawks points out that Church actually isn't even trying to get a live birth of a woolly mammoth. He's just aiming for a fetus, which could happen a lot faster than actually getting an elephant pregnant. Uh, But unfortunately, with a fetus, we won't actually be able to see all of the traits from the genes he's editing, so we won't know how much of a success it is. You just can't tell until the fetus develops into an actual woolly mammoth. So there are lots more problems with this story. Go check out Hawk's article for all of that. Um, Link is over on Patreon. Uh, Apologies to everyone who, like me, was really looking forward to a more mammothy 2019. But unfortunately now we're probably gonna have more success just knitting fuzzy sweaters for elephants. And to end on a positive note, I thought that thought and I got curious and I wanted to see if I could find photos of elephants wearing sweaters. Uh, Delightfully, I did find that an elephant rescue in India gets volunteers to knit sweaters for their poor, abused, and weakened elephants in order to help get them through uh, the cold winter. So it's pretty much the greatest thing ever. Sometimes humans are okay.